Let's look at how you can create a one-line diagram in Design Master Electrical RT. Using a Revit drafting view, insert graphics that correspond to the panels, transformers, and other equipment in your model. All of the labels pull information from shared parameters, just like standard Revit tags. Need to make a change? Simply edit the panel and the labels will update with the new information. Not sure about the graphics? Don't worry, they use standard Revit families that can be modified or replaced with your own to get the appearance you want. Let's look at how feeder sizing works in Design Master Electrical RT. We've replaced Revit's feeder sizing capabilities with our own. Each panel has a feeder size that you control. The default feeder size is set using the bus amps of the panel, but you can override the feeder to any size or material you want. The ground and neutral can also be sized automatically or set by you when needed. Feeder lengths are calculated based upon the locations of the panels in the model. You can enter a specific length if you need to override the calculated value. These options give you control over how your feeders are sized. Let's look at how branch circuit breaker and wire sizing works in Design Master Electrical RT. We've added automatic breaker sizing and replaced Revit's wire sizing with our own. Branch circuits use the load on the connected devices to choose the default breaker and wire sizes. You can override the calculated values and select specific breaker, conductor, neutral, or ground sizes. The conduit resizes automatically to make sure you don't exceed a 40% fill, but you can change that size too. The voltage drop on the circuit is calculated based upon the selected wire size and location of the panel and devices in the model. You have options for how the wire length is calculated and can override it as needed. These options give you control over how your branch circuit breakers and wires are sized. Let's look at how voltage drop works in Design Master Electrical RT. The software calculates voltage drop on both feeders and branch circuits. Connect your equipment using standard Revit functionality. Wire sizes are set using our software and wire lengths are calculated based upon the location of equipment in the model. You can override both the wire size and wire length as needed. Control over the design is in your hands. The voltage drop is then calculated based upon the calculated demand loads for feeders and the connected load of circuited devices for branch circuits. The software provides a default schedule to display the voltage drop using Design Master shared parameters. Changes to the model are reflected automatically. Let's look at how fault current calculations work in Design Master Electrical RT. The software calculates the fault current at each piece of electrical equipment in your Revit model. Connect your equipment using standard Revit functionality. Wire sizes are set using our software and wire lengths are calculated based upon the location of equipment in the model. You can override both the wire size and wire length as needed. Control over the design is in your hands. The software provides a default schedule to display the fault current using Design Master shared parameters. Let's look at how arc flash calculations work in Design Master Electrical RT. First, our software calculates the fault current at each piece of electrical equipment in your Revit model. The arc flash incident energy is then calculated based upon the fault current and equipment settings. The software provides a default schedule to display the arc flash values using Design Master shared parameters. You can also create arc flash stickers for labeling the equipment in the field. Let's look at how you can perform selective breaker coordination in Design Master Electrical RT. Set the time current curves for the breakers in your project using the software's curve database. Curves can be displayed on a Revit drafting view and overlaid on the same graph to coordinate your breakers. Need to make a change? Just modify the curve and update the graph. 
Request a free demonstration today to learn more.